Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. The Wari Kingdom is having a very serious unrest at the moment. The succession crisis that is rocking the Wari Kingdom in Delta State, Nigeria, has assumed a dramatic twist. It's now something different entirely. And that there was a twist at the weekend, this particular weekend, after the 400-year-old crown and symbol of the Isekiri monarchy was declared missing. And it was gathered that this missing crown surfaced days after some interested parties in the succession battle invaded the palace Agofe in Wari Metropolis. This is not a small thing at all. You know that this crown represents a lot and you can see how old this crown has been, 400 years old old this crown has been in the worry kingdom and for it to be missing the worry people would not take that lightly especially the monarchs and all the chiefs would not just sit and fold their arms and watch that happen and this development was confirmed by a high-ranking chief and other members of the ishekiri royal family and this is what one of them had to say that it is true the crown has been taken away from the palace. We do not know who is responsible for this unfortunate activity. What I can tell you is that it is nowhere to be found in the palace. And also a member of the Ginua One Ruling House mentioned this to the reporters as well. So it's heated up right now in the Wari Kingdom with regards to this missing crowd. And surrounded with worries, everybody is also worried. The development said efforts were being made to retrieve this particular crown. And it was also gathered that the missing crown was first worn by Ogeime Atuese, who reigned from 1625 to 1643. And it was also said to be a parting gift from the king of Portugal after Dom Domingos completed his education in European country in the 1611. You can imagine how many years this particular crown has been. And it was also gathered that this king makers consulted a fresh affair that's an oracle and confirmed Prince Sola Emiko as the chosen Olu elect, that's the Omoba, on Wednesday in Wari. You can imagine how this whole crown has been used for so many years. And Prince Emiko has already been presented to be reconstituted or Joye Isan by the Olori Ebi, that's the administrative head of the ruling house by Prince Emmanuel and this reconstitution of the Ojoye Isan, it's comprising the Olobos Tere and then the Ojomo, that's Chief Yahaya Pesu. And this was done after the Chief Ayiri Imami led group of chiefs disqualified Prince Emiko in line with the 1979 edict. However, the Iyat Seri of Wari, that's Chief Johnson, was subsequently elevated to take over the responsibilities of the Oloribo Seri in the search of a new Olu. And the nation authority gathered that the Omoba would be presented to the Ishekiri General Assembly on Monday, that's been tomorrow, April 5th, 2021, at the Order it's security. That's the big worry. But 
Nevertheless, the report of the missing crown has cast a pile of doubt over activities lined up for the ceremony, even as the chief emami has debunked the completion of the process to select the Olu. Also, the suspicion of this Olobosire chief imami has been challenged and annulled by the Otolus, who averred that only an Olu has the power to suspend the highest ranking chief in the kingdom. So at the moment, there is still chaos and crisis in the kingdom regarding the next chief that would even take up. And this ceremony is meant to happen by tomorrow. But because of this missing crown, it's posing a lot of difficulty. And Chief Imami also debunked the report of his suspension because they were already saying that he's been suspended and insisting that he remains the Olobosiri while also claiming that the General Assembly scheduled for Monday is null and void. So you can see that it's not an easy thing in the kingdom right now. And you know that the people of Wari, Delta states generally, they hold their chiefs in high esteem. And these traditional rulers are not taken for granted at all in that community. And anything that has to do with their ceremony, they always ensure that everything is in order and everything is in place. But right now, there is even a loggerhead with the chief and also the missing crown. The crown and other dramas could also cause a lot of delay and a smooth transition of the new Olu who is expected to proceed to Idaniken immediately after his presentation to the Ishakiri people on Monday being tomorrow. And Prince Okotie Ebu, who was contacted on the report, declined comment insisting that everything was going on well. So right now, there is crisis in the Wari Kingdom where they're meant to have their ceremony of the next presiding Olu, but that seemed not to be happening because of this missing crown. But at the same time, Prince Okotie Ebo is still not ready to say anything. All he's saying is that everything is well, but the Wari Kingdom and people of Wari are knowing that there is a lot of crisis at the moment and certain things need to be done before any ceremony can even happen. It's so bad that one, actually that crown that was taken, who must have taken the crown? Probably. You can never tell. You know, sometimes when another Omoba or another Olu is trying to take over the seat, some people may not be happy with it. And some people may try as much as they can to ensure that that ceremony would not hold. And it's meant to be tomorrow, but you can imagine the level of crisis that is happening right now. And without that crown, they can't carry on the ceremony for tomorrow. And even the first time about they had actually picked, they were also declining him taking over the throne. And you know, things regarding this chief tenancy title, crowning a chief is something that is taken very serious in the Wari Kingdom and in most parts of the Edo and Delta state, and even in, in Benin City generally. So these are areas where the monarchs are people that rule the community, and they are given upper hands, and they are given special positions in their own state and community as well. But how will they retrieve this? Nobody knows. They said they even had to go to the oracle, that's the consulted a fresh oracle to confirm the prince, the new prince right now, who they had chosen on Wednesday. That's um, Prince Emiko. That's Shola Emiko. That's the new chosen prince. But at the same time, he has already been presented to a reconstitution by the Olori Ebi. And it seemed like everything is not going on smoothly at all. Well, we hope that they are able to recover the crown because all of this crown are being taken as something vital to their community. 
they don't joke around with it. You can imagine a crown that has been moving around for 400 years. That is a very, very long time. You can imagine how long this has taken and for someone to just come and pick it up. Definitely, it may be one of those that are not happy for the ceremony that is meant to happen tomorrow for this new Omoba to be taken over on the throne. Some people may not be happy for Prince Emiko to take over and then the only way out to stop it or to delay it is by that crown missing. And if the crown is missing, obviously, this ceremony cannot just hold. Well, it's something that they've taken in high esteem and they regard it so much. I hope that they eventually get this crown so that the ceremony can even hold. And aside from that, it's always good for them to come at an agreement because if the house is divided, how will a new crown prince be crowned? You know, it's kind of difficult in situations like this. So whatever happens, we hope that they eventually get the crown. And we also hope and pray that peace will reign in the kingdom. And whoever succeeds, he should be crowned peacefully. Guys, what do you all think with regards to this? From this particular area who know more about the crowning of a new prince and when things are done like this. And you know, each time they want to crown a new prince, they always consult the oracle like they did for prince emiko they had to consult a fresh oracle so as to confirm him and this was just done on wednesday a few days ago friends if you have anything to say you can please put that down at the comment section please don't forget to hit on the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video friends i'm here today to talk about how to start up a new youtube channel so for those that are looking to start up a new youtube channel probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start that's why i'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own youtube channel this is a teacher he is really successful with his youtube and he has been a teacher for so long now teacher is matt pa he's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own youtube channel no stone unturned every step of the way he's going to lead you through it you have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly that's Matt Pa there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos he is leaving no stone unturned like i said so for those that are seeking for how to start up their own youtube channel this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain at the end of your class you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own youtube channel it's going to be like an abc class starting from the scratch so please for those of you that are interested in starting up 
their own YouTube channel. Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned. And it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you'll find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt Pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to Matt Pa's to mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for YouTube you will really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.